You can find it next to the Andrew J. Brady Music Center in Smale Park. Hamilton County Commissioner Alicia Reese spearheaded the nearly $20 million project. She says it's a chance for people to learn things they didn't know about African American musicians in our area. Why was it so important for you to push for the Cincinnati Black Music Walk of Fame to happen? Well, what was missing was these stories of black music artists um, in a permanent way. People don't know the uh, first black woman to sing in the White House is from Cincinnati. You will learn it right here. The exhibit includes an augmented reality installation that lets you appear to perform alongside Black Music Walk of Fame members, Bootsy Collins and Penny Ford. You can even get a keepsake video sent to your phone. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.